Hey everyone, in today's video we take a look at five messenger bags slash brief bags that you can take with you to work. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bring you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and also signing up to our newsletter. But let's dive right in and check out these five messenger bags. Now, when it comes to work style carry, messenger bags can offer something slightly different from your traditional backpack by being worn on the side or crossbody. Some people prefer that style of carry and also the access that it provides. In this video, we take a look at our top five picks for this category and also spend a moment to point out some honorable mentions at the end. Another thing to note is that while this is a top five picks video where we look at these products briefly, we've actually done full length product walkthroughs on each of these bags. So if you wanna take a deeper dive into them, check out the links above when they appear. Okay, so first bag off the bat is the Bellroy System Work Bag. This is a 16 litre bag in the traditional messenger style of carry. The System Work Bag features a number of different recycled woven materials. This one in particular in basalt features Luma Weave, which actually has high QV block inbuilt into the fabric. It's a antimicrobial technology. The bag also features durable YKK zippers, environmentally certified leather, and a combination of Duraflex and aluminium hardware. So just looking at the different carry modes, we've got two grab handles at the top here, and then we've also got a carry strap. Those are the two modes of carry. You can carry it just like a brief, or you can carry it with the shoulder strap over the shoulder or cross body. These grab handles are lightly padded, they're soft to the touch, and they just feature a folded nylon. The carry straps are detachable, so you can see these aluminium G-hooks here. You can simply clip those off, stow that away in the bag if you just wanna carry it like a brief. The shoulder strap does have some padding here, so a nice foam padding underneath here to keep your bag comfortable when you're carrying it and the webbing itself is this nice seatbelt style webbing very clean in terms of compartments at the back of the bag we've got this one big zippered compartment good for storing perhaps some documents any magazines you can put them there preferably they're flat because they're going to be up against your bag but this compartment also can serve as a luggage pass-through so at the base here we have a discrete zipper there that opens up that little compartment there and you can actually use this to pass through your telescopic handle with rolling luggage if you're going for a business trip. So that's really handy. On the front of the bag, we have two zippers here, two small quick access compartments for you to store various smaller items. So I've got a little key tether there for a set of keys. Got a little slip pocket that I've just stored my wallet inside. On the other side, I've got a face mask and then there is a padded section here, which is good for storing perhaps some Bluetooth wireless earphones. Now getting into the main cavity, it is secured by a magnetic G-hook closure. So it's actually magnetized in that little closure there. When you hook it in, it's secure and tight with magnetism. And then there's extra magnets here in this little roll top here. They're actually secured down by magnets. Hopefully you can see that magnetism at play. And then once we open it up, we can see all the different various compartments that you can use to store gear inside the main area. So in the middle, just got a little jacket, got an Orbiki Nesk for some tech. We've got two pop pockets on the side, just got a speaker here, as well as a water bottle. And then you've also got two stretch mesh compartments at the front here, good for storing any laptop peripheral, so maybe a charger, portable, hard drive. And then on the back here, two slip pockets that you can use to store devices. So here, I've got a remarkable two tablet inside that slip pocket, and then our laptop sleeve can fit up to a 16 inch laptop. I've just got a 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina in there, fits in there perfectly. Fine. Really nice organization inside this main cavity here and it's lightly contrasted so that you can see what's inside. You won't lose track of anything if you accidentally drop it inside the main area. And when you do close it up, it has decent weather protection and you can sit it down with that magnetic G-hook. Overall, a really solid messenger bag in the classic messenger bag silhouette. It's got good organization and it's styled in Bellroy's iconic casual but professional aesthetic. Okay, next up, we're looking at the Everyman Hideout 5-Way Community. Now it says five way because it boasts five different styles of carry. So it can be worn with backpack straps that currently stowed away. There is also a detachable shoulder strap that you can carry it over the shoulder or cross body. And it also can be carried via the grab handles which are also stowed away. And while all the straps are stowed away, you can carry it as a mega clutch underneath the shoulder there. So that's the fifth carry option. Now the literage of the bag is close to about 20 to 22 liters. The main compartment 
compartment is an 18 liter compartment, but it's also got additional compartments. So it's around 20 to 22. It features a PU lined 1680 ballistic nylon exterior. So really durable materials on the outside. And then for everything else, we have metal hardware. We've got GGC zippers with some leather accents. Now, if we take a look at some of the straps, which are currently stowed away, you can see all the zippers are PU coated for extra water resistance. So we just zip this away inside this faux fur lined compartment where you can store delicate goods. We have the grab handle inside there. And then at the back here, we open up that zipper, same fleece lined interior and then we've got a grab handle stowed in there so with just those out it has a very nice sleek briefcase style carry but if you want to carry it over the shoulder like a messenger you have this detachable shoulder strap it has simple g-hooks that hook into these little loops here and a padded air mesh shoulder pad and as mentioned this bag also has backpack style carry so behind this zipper we have the shoulder strap stowed away again two g-hooks that hook into there and down here these shoulder straps are padded. They have this air mesh wicking. You can hear a slight crinkly feel to them, which for some might leave a little bit more to be desired on that front. Inside that zippered compartment, you also have a little handle where you can hang this bag off any hooks. Now, as for compartments, it's slightly different to the rest of the bags featured in this video. We have one front zippered compartment, which is actually quite a large compartment here. And this is just a stash base for you to store any gear. So I've got my Orbit Key Nest for my tech. I've got the Sonos Roam speaker and then I've also got some travel headphones. Big cavity in there, you can store whatever you want, very easy to use. And then as mentioned, we have those two zippered pockets which are fleece lined, so you can store any other gear inside there, small items, more delicate items. In the middle, we have a large compartment here, and this is specifically catered towards travel. So inside this section, we actually have a hook and loop fabric here that you can attach on any packing cube. So these are the packing cubes that come with the bag. You can store different types of clothes in there. We have a big packing cube and then we've got two small packing cubes as well underneath that we've got these little loops that you can attach on the compression strap so if you don't want to use packing cubes you just want to secure some clothing there you can use these compression straps to keep things nice and flat nice and in place and if you're not using it for a business trip you're just using it for daily commuting you can take away all these clips here maybe use some of the little pouches to store some tech it's just that you don't have too much organization and separation for your gear the next compartment also opens up clamshell here and this is where you'll be storing most of your office gear, your tech gear. So we've got a few slip pockets here. We've got a laptop sleeve and a tablet sleeve. So a remarkable two tablet can go inside there. 13 inch laptop can go inside here. This will fit up to a 16 inch laptop. On the other side, we've got two little slip pockets, a little pen slot, and then another deeper pocket. There's also a little key leash here if you want to attach your keys there. And then a zippered compartment just to help you separate some other items inside there. This compartment also features this nice little wool felt fabric here, which is nice and protected nice and dense but overall a unique bag with a really unique style of carry and organization and it also has a very clean look about it as well before we get into the next bag for all of you horology enthusiasts the watch from today's video is the Voitur chronograph from Nozomi Studios designed in Stockholm Sweden it has a motoring aesthetic to it with the vegetable tanned leather rally strap if you're interested in checking out watches from Nozomi there is a link in the description below okay so the third bag in this series is the pig design everyday messenger it has a maximum 16 liter volume capacity but it can be brought down to a 13 liter volume capacity it has the traditional messenger silhouette with the carry strap as well as the grab handle at the top and this bag is not just designed to be an everyday messenger for work it can also be used for photo carry as well the bag is made with a 400 denier nylon canvas shell which is double poly coated as well as DWR impregnated for extra water resistance it also has a 900 denier water proof bottom liner for extra durability. All of these materials are 100% recycled post-consumer materials. It features a lot of in-house hardware from Peak Design, anodized hardware, as well as glass reinforced nylon, and they're super durable ultra zips. Now at the top of the bag, you can see this new buck leather grab handle, very soft to the touch and padded underneath, so really easy to grab. And as for the carry strap, we have a padded carry strap that is nice and flexible, but it is also very padded and soft. We've got that same sort of nylon nylon seat belt material here. And then for the fastener, we've also got Peak Design's Quick Adjuster, which is featured on a lot of their camera straps. 
taking a look at some of the compartments, we've got two side compartments that are fairly discreetly placed and you can just put some small quick access items, so some Bluetooth wireless earphones. On the other side we actually have a little key tether built into the bag. It's a nice stretchy key tether that you can attach your keys to via the anchor link. And to get into the main compartment it features Peak Design's maglet system. This is a really iconic closure mechanism that Peak Design have implemented in a lot of their everyday bags and it also allows you to adjust for different volume capacities as well. So we just pull up and then pull down we can open it here and you can see four different rungs which you can attach this little magnetic fastener to and that's where you adjust the different volume capacities depending on what you're carrying. And so in the main compartment you've got a few different segments here to organize your gear. In the middle I've just got a water bottle, I've got my Orbit Key Nest, my wireless headphones and then on the sides you can see there are these stretchy mesh pockets we've got my speaker there as well as my portable hard drive and you can see in the middle we've also got these adjustable dividers here that you can push around and also flip down for a little shelf just helps you organize different sorts of gear in there and it makes it really easy for storing camera gear as well so if you had a camera body inside a few lenses and some other camera accessories you could organize that very easily the main compartment is lined with that hook and loop velcro closure so you can just take these dividers out if you wanted to as well and just have a big stash space in the middle. But just at the front here you can see another zippered compartment here good for storing small items. There's a few little slip pockets there that allow you to organize smaller bits and pieces so good for small items in there. And then behind there we have our device sleeves. You have a tablet sleeve as well as a laptop sleeve. That laptop sleeve will only fit up to a 13 inch laptop so keep that in mind. And on the flap of the bag we have another discreetly placed zippered compartment here and I've just stored inside the Peak Design lash straps that you can use to attach on various loops throughout the bag. So there are these various loops here on the inside as well as the outside that you can lash gear on. This is really helpful if you want to carry a tripod with you or just some external accessories like a rain jacket or a down jacket, anything like that. You can have that outside of the bag instead of inside. Overall, a really well designed messenger bag with some good and smart features that make it really versatile for everyday use and work as well as photo carry. Next up, we have the Topo Designs Global Briefcase. This bag is a 14 litre bag. It's made of a 420 nylon pack cloth with a 1000D nylon on exterior at the base for extra reinforcement. It features heavy duty YKK zippers which are really smooth as well as Duraflex hardware. Topo Designs definitely has its own style to it so it attracts certain types of people and that might be you. When you look at this bag it definitely has a bit more of a playful sporty vibe. If we take a look at the base of the bag we've got these two compression straps here which actually compress the bag down if you're carrying light. If you're carrying not too much in the bag you can actually compress it down to slim down the silhouette but you can also store gear underneath here as well and affix it externally. So maybe you have a rain jacket or a little fleece that you just want on the outside of the bag. Maybe you've got a compact umbrella or even a tripod. You can store that underneath there. At the top of the bag we have this nice padded hall handle here. It's got a nice firm and dense padding there so really easy to grab. The bag also comes with a detachable shoulder strap. You can see this padding here is also nice and dense, nice and firm, similar to the hall handle. We've got that nylon seat belt webbing and then we have some nice hypalon here that reach up to the aluminium clips. So when you want to attach the shoulder strap you simply hook it into those little loops there on the sides and you can have crossbody or over the shoulder carry. But if we turn to the back of the bag we've also got some stowable backpack straps. So there are quite a few different modes of carry with this bag and you simply attach them on via these gatekeeper clips on the side there. The bag also features a luggage passer here which is separate to that stowable section for the backpack straps. So you can use this for travel and it is encouraged so with this bag named the Global Briefcase. In terms of compartments we've got two quick access compartments and then a main compartment and then a compartment for your laptop and devices. So on the front here if we just open this up we have a little mesh compartment here which I've just stored my Bluetooth active noise cancelling headphones and then on the other side we've also got that same sort of setup. I've got my face mask, my Bluetooth earphones and then my wallet and there's a little key tether for you to attach your keys to. So good small little pockets for you to organize those small items that you carry with you. In the middle we have these chunky YKK zippers which opens up our main compartment. I've got a water bottle in there, my lightweight down jacket as well as my speaker and my Orbit Key Nest for my tech. This is just one big space for you to store all your items inside and you can see that bright yellow interior. If you drop any smaller items in there you'll be able to easily spot it with this bright yellow. If we move to the next compartment this is where you store your laptop. Again chunky YKK zippers and you can see there is a laptop sleeve there. This laptop sleeve is padded and will fit most 15 inch laptops. It's secured down by velcro but you can also store documents in there, any folders, binders, 
magazines, maybe even a tablet inside this middle section. Overall, a very solid and capable bag with good organization, and you can use it for daily carry, for the work, for commuting, but you can also take it with you for traveling as well. Last but not least, we have the Black Ember Forge 20. Now, Black Ember has a few different variants for their Forge bag. They have one that's specifically catered for traveling, has more space for you to store gear for travel. This Forge 20 is specific for daily commuting and really useful for work as well. Out of all the bags we've seen in this video, this has much more of a techie sort of vibe to it. It's a very black on black, matte finish, stealthy aesthetic. It features Black Ember's HTX Performance material, which is a 750 denier Cordura nylon with this nice water repellent sheen to it. The bag features a lot of Hypalon. They have YKK AquaGuard zippers, as well as T6 anodized aluminum hardware. So on the top here, we have these two grab handles, which you can buckle together with this little button stud. You can remove those if you want via these G hooks, which are sewn into these laser cut little elements here that you can attach different accessories that are separately sold from Black Ember. At the back here, we have the butterfly harness system from Black Ember, which is basically the sewed backpack straps. So if we pull away these two flaps of Velcro, here we can open up the shoulder straps that come with the bag strap those back down we have nice air mesh contoured shoulder straps here which would be nice and comfortable on the body and then on the back we have a perforated EVA foam mesh which is really nice and padded in the middle we have a magnetic sternum strap we've also got some velcro here so you can adjust the curve of the shoulder straps similar to load lifters so a very capable harness system and there is also a luggage pass through in the middle there if you want to take this bag for travel out of all the bags featured here with backpack straps these ones are the most capable straps and they stow away very nicely in this butterfly system. And as expected, the bag does come with a adjustable and removable carry strap. We have these simple clips that clip onto these D-rings here, and we have nice padding here as well, so it'll be comfortable when you're carrying it. As for compartments, we've got two external compartments, one on the front here, and then our main compartment at the top there. Just open that up. Again, YKK AquaGuard zippers, and we have some organization here for all sorts of bits and pieces. So I've just got my face mask out there, got my wallet inside these stretch mesh pockets, got my Bluetooth wireless earphones, and then there is a little key tether here, magnetic key tether that you can attach a set of keys to. Above there, we've also got a Velcro mesh pocket there, and then three pen slots that you can slip in any pens or styluses. Now getting into the main compartment, we have a clamshell opening here, so this opens up so we can see everything inside. We've got quite a fair bit of organization and pocketing here. We've got two stretchy mesh pockets here. I've got my Corbett Key Nesk. I've also got my Bluetooth active noise cancelling earphones in these two stretch pockets. But you can see on the sides of those pockets, we also have zippered compartments here. So they're actually separate to those two pockets there. They share a similar dimension there, so you've got to be careful of what you pack inside there. Underneath all that, we have a padded section here, which I actually store a tablet inside there. And then one more pocket, again, sharing all that similar dimension, we've got another zippered compartment. I've just got my portable hard drive in there. And that actually goes all the way inside this section here. So despite looking a little bit simple, it does have quite a lot of pocketing. You just have to be cautious of the trade-offs you get with those different pockets and the dimensions that they share. Over here, we have our laptop section, which is secured down by this magnetic fit lock, and it can fit up to a 15-inch laptop. It has this nice fleece lining in there to protect it, and it is padded all around and suspended all around. So overall, this bag has a lot of organization for smaller bits and pieces, as well as your bigger items and it has 18 liters of capacity, but it still has a fairly slim silhouette. Not only that, it has the versatility to be used as a brief, as a backpack, and even as a messenger. Now, time for some honorable mentions. We've only got one here in person, but there are some other ones that we wanna quickly call out as well. This one here is the Arcteryx Granville Courier Messenger 16 liter. The 16 liter is no longer available anymore. There's only a smaller version of that, and we'll leave a link to that in the description below. This is a super durable, water repellent, no nonsense messenger your bag very straightforward and heaps of capacity some other bags to mention the air commuter brief 2 that's a really awesome bag if we had that here today we definitely feature it there is also the mystery ranch three-way the filson original briefcase and there are some really good messengers from track as well as timbuktu if you want to check any of those out there will be links in the description below well everyone there you have it our top five picks for bags that can be worn messenger style crossbody brief style carry let us know what you think about these bags and if you're interested in getting any of them there are a 
affiliate links in the description below. If you use those links, they go a long way to support the work that we do here, so we appreciate any support there. And if you want to support us further, you can hit the like button, you can hit the bell, you can subscribe to the channel, and you can also subscribe to the newsletter. But most of all, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these bags? Do you think there's a bag out there that should have been on this list or on our honorable mentions? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more videos from us or more videos on our top five picks, then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But this has been our top five picks for messenger bags. Take care and we'll see you next time.